Hey, what's up guys? We are at Bayside Liquors today. We are in Eustis, Florida. We're gonna be checking out the liquor store. They have a lot of bourbon up in here. Bayside Liquor. It's right here off of Highway 19 in Eustis. Let's go check it out. This is Willie. How you doing today, brother? Runs and operates Bayside Liquor. Good to see you, dog. You mind if I check out the wall? Yeah, of course. All right, let's go. Man, they got tons. Look at all this. Look at the store. It's huge. You got to check it out. Oh, Lord. We could spend all day in here. Let's start off. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Looking nice. Got a lot of Jack. Got some good Woodford. A lot of Russell's. Old Granddad, 114. Ooh. They got some Single Barrel Garrisons. That's a good bottle right there. Here's that double oak. That's one of my favorites right there. Double Oak, Woodford Reserve. Oof, don't sleep on this one. Beautiful bottle. Uh, let's see, you got the benchmark. That's a good one right there by Buffalo Trace. A good entry level bottle right there. Sazerac. I got a couple of these. I haven't tried it yet. I'm excited to pop one. Maybe I'll do a review on this this weekend. Let's see what we got on the shelves. Well, there you go. A little single barrel. Yum, yum, delish. Got me a couple of those. There we go. We got some Angel's Envy. That one's getting hot. It's crazy. Such a good market for this. I had the chance of going to uh, Louisville and going to their distillery. It's a super cool spot. If you can ever check it out, I highly recommend hitting it up. A lot of whistle pig. A lot of whistle pig. Got some single barrel, there's the other one, we got the honey. I haven't really had any of the Garrison Brothers yet. If you uh, recommend in the comments, let me know a good Garrison's bottle to pick up. A lot of hype with the Jefferson Ocean. One day, we'll get there. Let's see what we got. Elijah Craig. There we go, ooh. They got some good picks, store pick, 130. There's another barrel pick, 128. I'm gonna have to grab me one of these bottles right here. Let's see. Uncut, straight from the barrel. Can't complain about that. We're definitely gonna take one of these home. Store picks, love store picks. What else you got? Ooh, look at that big old knob. Everybody loves a big fun bottle. We need to get me one of those right there. That'd be fire. Good old infinity barrel. Check it out, check it out. Got that chicken. I don't know about that chicken, Kyle. That's a different story. Yeah, we got scotch. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't want to turn my head on these, but maybe somebody can recommend a good one to introduce myself. These are rough. I'm not sure what I drank. I had one, I want to say it's a 12 year. It was this one right here, oof. That was a rough one for me. If you like some smoke and some Band-Aids, I recommend drinking that. Let's go back to the fun stuff. We got that whiskey. We got that bourbon. Let's check it out, what else? We got the basil, hey, and everybody got that basil. Big old bottle, decent price. We got a lot of the red wine finishes. Haven't had that, it's kind of like Angel's Envy. A lot of those wine bottle finishes. We got the fun stuff. Got that knob nine, that's a good stuff right there. Larceny. See, that's a funny thing. I don't have anything of Larceny on me. Let's take this one home. That's not good. 92 proof, 29 bucks. You can't beat that. Let me walk it over here. There we go. Let's see, what are we sleeping on? Anything we're sleeping on here, old Forrester. That Ball and Bond, oof, that is delicious. Such a good basic bottle, Bottle and Bond. I believe I also have the 20 and the Prohibition. I don't think I popped that one, I need to. Looking good. Town Branch, this is new, I haven't seen this one. Out of Lexington, seven year. Let's check it out, it looks pretty good. What we got on here? Age seven years, 87 proof. Hmm. 
I haven't heard of this one before. I wonder if it's still produced by Lexington Distillery. It says produced. Yeah, that word right there, produced, is kind of sketchy. It doesn't say they distilled, so it's probably some MGP. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Shoot, you gotta start somewhere, right? Got the Russells. Ooh, look at that Russells. Ooh, am I, am I sleeping on one of these? I'm not a big rye guy, but it would not hurt to have that in the collection. Looking good, looking good. Ooh, got the old elk. That's a store pick too. No, that's not a store pick. They got the staves. I got one of these. It's a good, good bottle. I can't remember my stave number I have on mine, but man, that's the delicious. You find one you like, all you. Got the makers. There you go, nothing crazy. Got a couple Buffalo Trace products. Got some Sazerac. We already saw that. Now these ones right here, this is all the Buffalo Chase. I was, I'm not gonna say it's the bottom end, but it's their lowest level uh, they offer, the whiskey burb. They're pretty good, definitely for that price. You can't beat that price. I have the top floor, pretty good mixer, I like it. Ooh, they got a pretty hot foolproof, that's a good one. I'll have to try that one out. And we got a nice mixer's choice. This is what I'm sleeping on. I went on tour, not tour, I went on their distillery tour and I had a hard time with Michter's. It was my least favorite out of all the tours we hit. Not not the tour itself, but just the, the profile. I was, you know, young palette. I'm still a very, very young palette with that. Let's check it out. What else we got? Got that wild turkey. We got a single barrel. Oof. You always gotta have a rare breed, rare breed ride too. That's a good pick. You got all the wild turkey. Bullet. I have not had a bullet before. I don't have to tell. Tell me if that's a good one. Try out. See if I'm sleeping on any of those. We got barrel strength. What's the proof on this? Buck twenty. Not bad. Looking good. There's that double oak. Beautiful. Got to get that double oak. What else we got up in here? Looking good. St. Augustine. That's local. They got a really fun distillery out there in St. Augustine. Good stuff too. Not a bad price. Fifty-five. Nothing too crazy, won't break your bank. Looking good, the Widow, Widow Jane. Got the 10 year, there you go. Small batch, heck yeah, there you go. You gotta fill it up, fill it up. George Dickel. Not yet had this, I hear a lot of bad things, so I'm kinda scared to try it out. Got the roses, oof. And then you got the Fireball, just sitting there, there you go. You can't beat some Fireball, that's some good stuff. Gotta know the fireball, yeah. New riff. Oh, I didn't even see this. What's this all about? We got rye, we got the regular bourbon, 100 proof. We got the rye mash, malted. Ooh, malted ice, that word scares me. Nope. Uh, I need a little more, uh, what is it? what's the word, experience. That word just freaks me out. Ooh, Tennessee fire, that's the blends. See, you gotta always have these on your, on your shelf at home because not everybody's gonna want to drink some of these high-end, high-proof uh, bourbons, so you always gotta keep some good old flavored whiskey around. You can't beat this, and just for myself right here. Mm-mm-mm, Jack Apple all day. Ooh, what we got? We got the single barrel select, that's good. Single barrel rye. Might have to pick one of these up next week. These are good bottles right there. And Abeloso, Whiskey de Mexico, okay. What we got here? Crafted using the finest corn. Hey, those cups are pretty cool. That's cheap. Might just get it for the cups. And now uh, we got the Evan Williams. 1783. Ezra, God dang, look at that big old boy. That's what a half gallon. Ezra Books is good. I got a, a cast strength of this from a store pick over in uh, Eustis. is a good spot. There we go. Then we got the old granddad. A lot of hype on this. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I gotta look into this more. 114, that's not bad. Look at that. Oh boy. Then we got the straight mellow corn. I guess I gotta get on the bandwagon. I gotta pick me up one of these two. Um, not really sure what we got going on here. Heaven Hill, oh it's Heaven Hill. I didn't know that. Oh, add that to the collection. Let's throw that up here. Let's see what else we got. 
We got some bird dog, old camp. Isn't that, isn't old camp uh, an artist? I forgot who does that one. Not bad. You got your basics, you got your Canadian whiskey. Where's that at? I don't even see the crown. It must be on a different shelf. Oh, I didn't, sorry, I didn't even get the, the Jim Beam a shot. Oh, shoot. We sleeping down here. Oh, I didn't even see these. What we got? Straight whiskey. American born. I have not heard of this. It's a nice bottle. What we got here? 83 proof? That's super low. I mean, hey, can't have the high stuff all the time. Oh, we got a little rye in there. Let me know if I'm sleeping on this bottle. I never heard of this. American born. Not bad. And we got all of our staves. They all have the 02152. I don't have that one. Super cool how they do that, where they, they give you a profile. They let you pick your staves. I mean, not you, but if you're uh, gonna buy a barrel and you can, you know, you got some money, you pick your staves and they do a store pick of it. It's pretty sweet. I hear a lot about this Widow Jane. No, I haven't, haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but I should. It's not too bad. All right, let's check it out. Looking good, looking fresh. It's a super cool store. You got all the wine. That's for the lady. Got to pick them up something. That way all the bourbon I bring home looks pretty good when I have a bottle of wine next to it. You know what I'm saying? Let's check it out. What do we got hiding back here? Yeah, we got some, some gift sets. There we go. Old forest. Is there anything hiding in here I need to know about? Big old bottle. Good Lord. That thing's the size of my head. Look at that thing. That'd be a good infinity bottle. It'd probably take me forever to fill that up. <laughs> there we go. Well, this is it. Bayside liquor right here in Eustis. There's your Irish whiskey. I can handle the Irish whiskey. Let's check it out. I guess we're good. Let's go see if they have anything hidden. You know how they do that. They always keep stuff on the end caps. End caps where the fun happens, you know? You never know. We got the tequila. Vodka. Ah, nah. No vodka for me. Vodka. And you got your rums. Shout out of that. Look at that profile. I got rum for days. Looking good. You got some captain. Everybody's gotta have that captain in their stock. This was this was my drink back in the probably 15 years ago. The Kraken. That's what got me spiced out. Oh man, they got a lot of fun rums. I can do the rums, it's a boat day, you know what I'm saying? Get some rum. What else we got, anything fun looking? We had a, we did a cruise to Bahamas last year to celebrate our anniversary with me and my wife. And we found this really cool distillery in uh, Freeport. Can't tell you the name of it anymore, but we got a bottle from them, they were really good. I don't see that here though. Anything else? We got the IPAs. Got that gin. No, no gin for me. We're gonna recap on this one. We're gonna go with, we're gonna get this private barrel store pick looking good. Mr. Willie told me about this one. This one's super cool, 130, almost my highest one. I think my best one I have is the Stag. I wanna say that's almost 131. I might be wrong, but we're gonna pick this bad boy up. I'm gonna go with, I'm not getting anything crazy today, but we're gonna get a basic Larceny. I don't have one of these. So we're gonna put that on the shelf. 92 proof, you can get that pretty much any store you want. And then this, I'm just getting this because there's hype on it. It's all over social media. What, 100 proof, Heaven and Hill. Honestly, this, this makes me nervous. It says bottled and bond, so it's gotta be somewhat decent, but uh, we'll figure it out, check it out later. What's up, dog? Looking good, oh, the Traveler. I didn't even see the Traveler sitting right there. Yeah, that's a good one. All y'all hating on the Traveler, but that Traveler's dang good. All right, so let's go home and crack these bottles and do a review. Until then, we'll see you later. Swag out. <laughs>